zweiten Tritt. Wir schauen uns an Speed Limit bei Game Chuck. Speed Limit is a game about an ordinary person. Every two stages, the gameplay changes completely. Greatly inspired by uh, Mirror's Edge. 90s action movie, The Game. John Wick, Daily Commute Simulator. Uh, this was a bit of a challenge, but I, I think we pulled it off. We're trying to make a game that seems like it's based on a 90s action movie, but not really because we're trying to make our own thing. So it's 90s action movie, the game, kind of. Describing Speed Limit in a single sentence, Speed Limit is a hectic tour through the varieties of the action arcade genres, or it's an ode to chaos. We were greatly inspired by uh, Mirror's Edge because of its simplicity, minimal colors and everything. The game is framed as a single unbroken shot. You begin on foot, transition into a sports car, then onto a superbike, <laughs> into a chopper and so on. Some of the scenes from the game uh, are also inspired by uh, John Wick. The level where you drive a motorbike, it's inspired by that scene in John Wick 3 where uh, he's uh, driving a bike on the bridge and all the ninjas come behind with the katanas and everything. When I write music, I write it mainly in my uh, digital audio workstation. Then I export MIDI, uh, MIDI signal to my uh, hardware synths. That signal goes through uh, guitar pedals. Then I re-record those sounds again. Our main inspiration for that kind of recording came from Mick Gordon. There's six games that all make up one big story. My inspiration came from uh, mostly Nintendo games. Every time they make a new game, they try new things. The basic idea was to have Speed Limit done in about three months. That was more than three months ago, which is shocking, I know, for game development, but it's, it's getting there. No one wants to get shot in a video game and then spend four weeks in intensive care and then die. And that's what I think the style of Speed Limit will, will do well. The point of Speed Limit is there is no Speed Limit. Speed Limit is a game about an ordinary person becoming the protagonist, whether they wanted to or not. Uh, spoilers, they didn't. I don't think anyone has uh, tried to do this kind of thing, where uh, every two stages the gameplay changes completely. The uh, genre changes, or rather the game style changes. So it begins as a run and gun shooter, and then it transitions into a top-down racing game, then a behind-the-shoulder racing game, an isometric shoot em up The relative speed increases, it, it ramps up. The point of speed limit is there is no speed limit. Hence the name. So both pixel art and minimalism are visual styles that have already been used in games, but they were rarely used well together or very rarely at least, and that's what I think the style of Speed Limit will, will do well. Basically the game is color-coded, like in Mirror's Edge, uh, the important elements are red. It was very important to make sure that the player can pick up on the changing logic of the game smoothly, without needing to uh, switch tutorials or show, you know, tell bars and press A to shoot, it, it should all be organically readable. And this, was, uh, this was a bit of a challenge, but I, I think we pulled it off. Its graphical design is stylized, but its game design is not. These two uh, ambitions were not in conflict. No one wants to get shot in a video game and then spend four weeks in intensive care and then die. <laughs> Ah.
Hi. Hello again. Hi there. Very, very interesting pitch. Um, one, one, a little bit tricky, a little bit me question. I'm very curious to, to hear you answer about this. So when trying to do these six different elements or these six different genres all packed together, aren't you a little bit afraid that you, while putting so much effort into making all of these six interesting, you might not be able to execute on the highest level in one particular genre? No. <laughs> uh, short, short answer, cool. no. Uh, and this is because uh, there's, a, there's a method to our madness, actually. Uh, first of all, one of those six uh, is completely done from the ground up. That's the plane level that was designed uh, by Jan. That was, that was supposed to be something much more, much more simple uh, and ev eventually ended up being this, uh, this ludicrous uh, um, barrel roll kind of uh, level. Uh, that we haven't seen done before, especially in uh, like coming towards you, uh, and we think we think that's uh, that 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 was the biggest challenge in terms of uh, it was something completely new. So we didn't have something to go by. Now every other level, yes, uh, you could you could say that. Uh, and I mean, people probably will say uh, this one was better than than another one because they will have their own preference in the levels. Obviously, if you, if you have a tour de force of uh, all the genres of '90s arcade games. You will you will eventually go through the ones that are that are your favorites, right? And another one might not be. But we went through each and every one of the games that were we were inspired by, and we tried to uh, we tried to improve upon them. Most notably, I think that this is noticeable, or it will be noticeable uh, in the motorcycle levels, because uh, we haven't found a single one of those games that had good depth perception. So. Uh, they were very, they were very crude in in their execution. Obviously, there was uh, there was much less hardware at their uh, at their disposal. Um, but we think that we we nailed the the um, the visibility, the perspective change that where you can actually see how close the car is, so you can you can actually dodge the the cars very very efficiently. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>